Hello everybody, it's me Briggsall. Uh, as you can see I have got what could be construed as a working green screen. I'm not going to tell you how good it is or not just yet. You can judge that for yourselves. It's it's okay. The only issue really is light changes and variety of different things that obviously with a decent setup uh, and a decent amount of money I'd be able to set up properly uh, with a very limited supply of money as you can see um, it's decent it's, it is quite decent I am doing this in the middle of the day so it may change when I get to the evening and put on proper lights uh, but I think it's working pretty decently at the moment anyway that's this side of things the other side of things is I want to obviously share with you this game now this game is a game that I have played through like six times it's at least six times it may be more it's a game called Deus Ex Human Revolution this is the director's cut the cut that basically adds the DLC and variety of different things to the whole game to make it more of a an a you know a full experience which is what obviously you want when you play a game you don't want it to be chock and stop and start and all that sort of stuff and you the Missing Link Dale's DLC, which I've I've played through a little bit on my channel um, last year, I think it was, because I missed it, um, has been completely added to the game, so it's seamless. It's almost as if it was meant to be in the game in the first place. Now, unfortunately, because of the way that DLC works these days, they do actually create this stuff as if it was supposed to be in the in the game at all and then they just take it out and decide that they want to sell it so that's the way it is unfortunately regardless i am going to be running through a couple of things just t basically telling you why i really love this game what it is about this game that makes me love it so much and just generally everything about this game okay so I'm in the police station. I'm not that far into the game. I've already played through it once, which means that all my praxis is almost pretty full up here. Let me just add that there. Um, and I'm in the police station. I've talked to the guard at the front, which means that uh, I can walk around the police station, but I can't go into this room without um, without alerting them. So I've got to be careful. I the first playthrough I did was um, a complete pacifist playthrough, except that I didn't get pacifist. I think I killed one person through the entire thing, and that was accidentally because what happened was is a um, one of those robot things came down and I m m destroyed it with use of EMP, and it blew people up around it, which technically counts as. Technically counts as a kill, but the second player through, which is what I'm doing right now, well, that is um, complete. I'm just killing everything basically. I think once you when you play through the game once, and you kill everybody, uh, you don't kill anybody. You kind of get a bit annoyed that you can't kill anybody, especially if you're doing the, you know, if you're doing the the pacifist sort of thing. Sorry, I'm just concentrating so much on trying to get this thing done. There we go. It's pretty much done now. Um, you know, I, f I focus so much on trying to do the pacifist. You just want to go out and kill people, really, in the game. Of course, in the game. Of course. Um, so, that's what I'm doing now, really. I don't want that. I will take those take that of course I'll take all those and I'll take that but I can't because I've got enough room because my basically my thing is this full of guns I just literally full to the brim of guns 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 what can I drop well I could drop the crossbow ball arrows, but I'd like to use the crossbow later on. And I could drop the double barrel shotgun because it's pretty shit. In fact, 
Let me just see if I've upgraded any. I don't think I've upgraded it, so I can actually drop that. The double barrel shotgun is a piece of DLC kit that you may or may not have seen before. Uh, it was added to the game um, seamlessly, it would seem. In other words, it was added, it was part of the game, and then it was uh, taken out for DLC purposes. Rate of fire. Rate of fire. I am I am kind of going ham on this um, this sniper rifle here, silent sniper rifle I might add, which is another part of the DLC that you find somewhere along the line. There we go. Can't close that door, can I? Because it's. But if I go back now, I can now just literally walk through this area, and I think that is a testament to the game. Okay, the way the game has been created is that you can do all those kind of security things and stealthy things and because the game knows what you're doing to a certain extent, it allows the area around you to react. So because I didn't alert anyone in, in and around that area, you know, I didn't trip the alarms and I didn't um, loud, you know, I didn't make any noise when I killed that fella. It meant that all the people around me are still completely in the blue that anyone is dead. Or, or that I'm basically running around killing people. So, and, you know, that's a very, that's a big testament to this game. And I think some people may say, well, this game looks, you know, it looks a bit old now. It looks, the graphics look a bit poor and all that sort of stuff. I don't agree. I think the graphics still look really good. Let's see if it trips. No, I'm allowed to be here. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Now, the way I've done this mission, or this particular section of the game, is kind of the dipl diplomatic way of doing things. I am literally sweet talk the guard at the front of the, uh, the front door, and he's let me in, and I'm allowed to walk around freely. But in other runs through, you may have made a mistake going through the front door, and he he will. Let, won't let you through, or you you want to go through stealthily and not even have anyone know that you're there. Um, and sometimes you just want to go in and just murder everyone, which is fair enough. I don't understand. I don't see a problem with that. Now I'm going to go into an area here, which is kind of one of the. I'd say it was the hub area. It was. It's a big area that you can go around, and it kind of leads to. Uh, aspects of the story so you can go and do certain side missions or you can go and do certain things and you can have a bit of a runabout and you can test out certain things and you can find all the Joseph, secrets I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues a detective Alexander Jenny what did you want she said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road and might I just add as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office I am not your personal dating service. Pritchard is a dick. Anyway, you see that little sub-quest that pops up there? You don't need to wait for that to happen. If Before you went into the, pl the police station, you could go and visit this lady, the Detective Alexander, and you could get that quest before you even, before you even go to the police station. In fact, you can preempt the the storyline almost straight away as soon as you get into this area by going and disabling a um, an array like a signal array that's been set up um, in the, the, the derelict row over here which I think is really really good I think I think the ability to kind of change things and search through trash cans and you can you can kill all these people if you want or you can just you know be really cool and I mean each person's got a voice to a certain degree. Don't mind my friend. He's just paranoid. What are you looking at, pal? Scanning me with those metal eyes of yours? And it's almost as if they've got a, 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 a voice actor to come in and do every single voice. You look like the kind of guy you know how to lay his hand on some explosives. You know, hush, hush. I heard the mob is stashing stuff down in the sewers. Cool. And normally this... This door will be able to be opened, but it, a lot of the a lot of this area you'll f you'll find um, some of the doors won't be openable. Now this is because you actually come back to this place once you finish this area. You go on to do something else. There is 
more. There is more. Later on, you come back to this area, and things have changed. And the areas that you thought were closed to you become open. And the same, sometimes the same places that you've been to are now reoccupied. For instance, this place here. Obviously, I can walk through here without any fear or anything because um, because I've got the skill that allows me to you do that. But when we come back to this area later on, this is full of people that are talk, listening to a preacher guy on here who's talking about the revolution and all this sort of stuff. And some of these pla some of the uh, rooms in there are, are refilled with people like um, uh, naughty people and decent people. And some of the places that you couldn't get into before in these buildings, they open up as well. And I think that's just a massive, a real huge kind of plus to the game. When you can open up these kind of little doors, these little areas, that allow, that allow you to kind of have this depth in the game, which I absolutely love. And don't forget, as well, this, this game is technically a sequel. It's a sequel to Deus Ex. Some people would say it's a, a sequel to Deus Ex Invisible War, but a lot of people don't actually believe uh, in that game at all ever happening because it was such a such a departure from what should have been a decent game. So people assume that this one is um, this one is the sequel. The the, the you know the long awaited sequel as it were completely flossing over the fact that Invisible War did exist, unfortunately, for some people. I actually quite enjoyed Invisible War, but that was only because I wasn't really bo bothered about m many things. I, was, I mean, I wasn't... I, was, I loved Deus Ex, don't get me wrong, the, the original. And when I found out that Invisible War came out, I, 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 I just wanted to play it and wanted to enjoy it, and that's what I did. I think when you go into something expecting to... Um, you know the story to carry on from where it did before, or various aspects of that. You kind of get disappointed, but if you go into it really completely open-minded and just want to have fun with the game, then you find. I found out that I really enjoyed it. I'm not. I'm not going to say that everyone liked Invisible War because I know for a fact people hated it, but I enjoyed it to a certain extent. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is that this game is. It's a beautiful game. It's very very um, I don't know it's very well made it the engine works really well the graphic styles really good there are areas that you just don't realize that are there on the first or second playthrough so you every time you play through this game you get that extra little kick of wow I didn't know that was there or wow I didn't think you know I didn't think I could do that and so you know this game I've played through six or seven times, and every single time I've found something new to play, or new that I haven't noticed before. And I think that's just a, a massive testament to the people who created this game and put a lot of effort into it, because a lot of effort had gone into this game. Because I think the atmosphere was something that they had to get right, something that had, for the game to work, they had to get it right. And I honestly think it did. Now, for exi for for um just an example of how things have changed this area here is you know it's very much a you know an an enjoyable area that you just think I never knew anything like this happened i I think it was the third playthrough I went through when I found out this area. Which I was very surprised at. I didn't think at all that anything like this existed up here until I realised that there was a door up there that I couldn't get through because I hadn't got the skill to get through it. And then I realised that it ties this place together. Now, if you, if I go back to where that thing at the beginning of the game, or there's like a cutscene that basically shows people rioting and all this sort of stuff, and this little PDF thing or this little um pocket thing basically says this sniper rifle is used to incite the violence so someone has literally come in this owl at sc scowling mass dot net to red wing at scowling mass dot net they're inciting a riot so it 
the backstory as well. I mean, the depth of everything that you know, the storylines that are going through this game are fantastic. Now, I will say this: compared to Deus Ex, the original Deus Ex, I honestly think that it's almost as good, and I almost as good. But some of you are going to say no, it's not anywhere near as good and some of you are going to say well I prefer this one to the original Deus Ex I think they, they both should stand apart and together at the same time that makes no sense whatsoever I, I, I'm sure but what I mean by that is that yes it's a sequel and yes they will be put together every single time when you talk about the Deus Ex series but if you separate them and, and think of them in, in itself in their own games because technically they are their own games because I don't think the storyline really equates equally to you know everything so I don't know I could come here so early in the game I wonder if there's like s that's what it is now when I murder you See, I've never been in here. I have n I had no idea that you could get into this place, and this was this was. I have no idea. That's amazing. You see, at the start of the game, when you get into this into the area, if you don't g look around, you miss things. And I cannot believe that I've never seen this place before. I've been in here before, that I know I have, because later on in the game there's a quest that you have to come in and do here, but I didn't think it was open, or at least this open, to people. That's just amazing. Let's go and have a look through an event, because Deus Ex game is nothing if you don't go through an event. So let's have, a, let's have a look in here. That's amazing. Simply amazing. I'm, I'm amazed that I never thought to come in here. I mean, this is like the seventh time I've played through the game, and I never thought to do it. Simply amazing. And it's only, it's these little bits, in honesty, these little tiny small bits, that is the reason why I keep going back to playing this game. Because the, you, you can go through the story all you want, and you can do, and you can you can love the story, and you can love the setting, and you can love all that. But if replayability is all about finding stuff that's new. And when this game, when you've got a game this big, finding stuff that's new um, happens all the time, and sometimes you don't even realise it, which I think is fantastic. Anyway, I think I've droned on long enough about how I love this game. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to say, if you haven't played this game, and you know nothing about it really, I honestly think you should pick it up. Because I'm almost certain that this has got nothing in it. Apart from beer. Some pizza. Anyway. Honestly, if you've never played a Deus Ex game, or if you've played the original but you didn't think anything, you didn't like the look of this one, or you didn't like the look of, you know, the game in general, I honestly recommend you just try it out and see for yourself. You can get the director's edition, director's cut version, which has got all the d DLC and stuff in it. All you need to do is you if, buy it on Steam, and I'm sure it's not that expensive anymore. It used to be obviously 30, 40 quid because that's what the games were these days. But this, I'm almost certain, is quite a cheap game now. It's probably you won't pay out have to pay more than 20 quid, and you're gonna get. I mean, I think I played. Uh, the first time I played through the game I took my time over it and I kind of really kind of got to know the game. I think it was like 30 hours in total. But you can get through the game, if you know exactly what you're doing, you can get through the game in 20 hours. You know, minimum, uh, maximum really. You spend a lot more time doing it. Anyway, I think I've big up this game enough. I mean, you just have to look at it and see how good it looks. And then you realise that you love it. It's the way it is. That's how I feel about it. And this is only one of three really big areas, or 
two really there's just two big areas anyway that's I'll leave that for you to decide if you've never played it anyway thanks very much for watching and if you do want to catch me playing this game more I will be playing it in the next couple of weeks over the next couple of weeks uh, on my twitch channel which is in the description below please come on down and um, press the follow button if I'm not on and if I am on uh, come and say hello in the chat anyway thanks very much for watching see you soon